Always prepare for women to leave you. I don't care how much money, clout, or status you have, you must prepare for that day that she leave you. One of the realest things I ever heard is, she's not your girl, she's just your turn. You must understand that women are controlled by their emotions. Y'all could be chilling, vibing, having a good time. A thought could come across her mind that ain't got nothing to do with you, and all of a sudden she got an attitude, or now she in her feelings. Your girl could be the happiest woman on the planet in one moment, and then wake up the next day and decide she don't want none of this no more. Every situation or relationship has an expiration date, so you better be ready for it. So my brother who passed away, his wife left him when he was like deathly sick and the way that she left him is just like inexcusable. So my brother who was partially blind at the time and his wife were at home at their house and she said, hey, I'm gonna go to Sheets, the gas station down the road to buy coffee and cigarettes, I'll be right back. So she leaves and she leaves my brother who needs care 24 seven, leaves him alone for hours and hours. He tried calling her over and over and over again, and it was radio silence. So him and my nephew wake up the next morning, and mind you, his nephew is like a grown adult. They go on Facebook, and it literally says, as soon as they open the app, I'm not gonna say her name. First name, last name, moved to Virginia Beach, Virginia. And we're from Morgantown, West Virginia, and that's like six and a half hours away. So she literally just packed up all of her stuff in the car, I guess, at some point, I don't know. And instead of going to the gas station to get coffee and cigarettes, she fully moved and left my brother by himself. And when that happened, he was already sick at the time, but that was when his health just took a turn for the absolute worst and it ended up killing him. All right, so you two... I'm back with another video. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I am tired as hell, okay? If my eyes is red, you know why. But I am going to make this video for y'all. This is the best advice I can give you. Y'all watch two of the videos, and you'll understand that women can cheat on you at any time. Women can leave you at any time. You know that, right? It don't matter if you think she won't do it. Because all women are capable of cheating. All women are capable of just leaving. It don't matter. So, the way for you to, to not act like a bitter cuck when she leaves is to, ex well, when she leaves or cheat on you, is to expect it. Not saying you have to be insecure and calling her out all the time or, you know, start an argument or jeopardize, you know, everything that you work hard for. See what I'm saying? I'm not trying to mess your relationship up. But I'm going to tell you right now. Expect that it could happen. Expect that she could cheat on you. Expect that it's coming. Because when you are ready, you don't have to get ready. A lot of dudes... They lose their freedom. They lose their life because they were in love with a woman. So they do something stupid. She want to leave. Let her leave. Why are you stopping her? You, you stopping her. She going to tell you, I want to leave. And then, you, and then you do something crazy to her. And now you end up in jail. Why? Because you was in love with that woman. That's why I tell you, fellas, understand that. When you are in love with a woman versus when you love a woman is two different things. When you're in love with a woman, you don't see anything wrong. But everything's supposed to be about her happiness. If it makes her happy, if her disrespecting you makes you happy, okay, cool. That's fine. You don't care about yourself. But when you love a woman, you can reprimand her out of love. Baby, I don't like this. I don't know. This is going to mess up our relationship. Boom. But when you are in love with a woman, you do dumb shit. Yeah. Understand, a woman can leave you. A woman can cheat on you. The only thing you can do is moving on. That's all you can do. That's, that's your only power. Move the f*** on. It does not matter if you're married. What did the sister say? She just left. But what did the vow say? 
for better or for worse. If he didn't expect that, he probably would have been alive still. Maybe he maybe he got depressed. And depression can kill you as a man. Death. Depression. It's like sickness. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the same thing, except it's more mental. So maybe he felt discouraged. And he's gone. I don't understand how women these days want to be married. But can I have the basic, the basic simple skills, which is communication? If you're sick and tired of him, you know, or actually, if you're sick and tired of you taking care of him, being a caretaker, being his wife and helping him, you should have sat down with him and you should have just tell him, baby, I want to I wanna find another man. Oh, baby, um, I, I can't do that anymore. Oh, baby, I don't know what it is. I don't know that. Oh, oh. But no, guess what she did? She just left. Leave him for the dead. And you're telling me marriage matters. Marriage does not matter. But let's go back to what we were talking about. A woman will leave you or can or will leave you at any time she desires. Anytime. And this is why most women are never around when you have difficulties. You're going through something in life. They are never there until you become the top dog or you beat the odds and you're up there. And now that's when they always want to wait at the finish line. She don't care. She don't care if she was married to him. She married him for benefits because his life was good at the time. Now his life is not that good anymore. She left him. If you're sick of that man, you should just tell him that. If you're sick of that man, you should just tell him, baby, look, I can't do it no more. I'm tired of taking care of you. At least you talk to him. At least you have to communicate. Women these days don't like to communicate. It's just your turn, fellas. You think you married to that girl? It's just your turn. And a lot of y'all fellas, if you if you put that in your head that okay, well, you have to accept the fact that your woman can leave and there's nothing you can tell her. If you just if you just accept the fact that that's that's reality, but some of y'all refuse to accept the fact that your woman can leave at any time. You're not accepting the fact that, oh, my woman, yeah, that, that lady that you give the ring to, that girl, she left you for another dude, or she left you because she's going to leave, just leave. She ain't got no reasoning. She's going to leave you and experience a little more, for better or for worse. Do you think this woman care about you, bro? Do you think this woman care about you? She just left. I'm going to tell you right now, fellas. Don't be in love with a woman. You can love a woman. Third of all, if you expect it, way better if you expect that she could do it she about to I'm not saying to be insecure about it or jeopardize everything for your relationship 
I'm going to you right now. It was just your turn. Hey, sir. It was just your turn. And hey, my partner. It was just your turn. Hey, homie. It was just your turn. She, she ready to leave now. So let her go. And my advice that I'm giving you right now will save you. If you're able to just let women go the way that they want to go and don't even stop them, guess what? You have the upper hand. That's all I got to say. Please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'm out of here.